How have the past 18 months been like for you? And I was back in Berlin where I live in March 2020. And that's when I heard about all the cancellations and concerts getting postponed. I think in the beginning I was hoping that things will get better soon. So I was having just, you know, emotional ups and downs. But then after a few months more, I think I was trying to remind myself how much I love the music. I tried to be thinking as if I was reborn in a way. And still at the moment, it's not um, really back to normal. And I, I, I don't, I'm not sure what the meaning is of like being back to normal, but um, at least the concerts are happening um, with, with the people, even though it's limited. I'm really grateful for the opportunities that I have and I'm hoping that uh, the next year will be at least somewhat more back to normal. What are you most grateful for at this moment? Actually, in the beginning, I was quite grateful that I had even more time to myself to go deeper into the music, to have such amount of time to go back to certain music and taking longer process to really explore such details in the score. For me, I was really missing the live concerts to share the emotions with, with the people. It's something you just cannot describe with the words. And to be inside the hall, listening to the concert, sitting there, even though that feels like it's timeless, but it only happens at that moment. And, and you cannot feel this kind of emotional depth uh, anywhere else, I, I believe. Yes, I did a few online concerts with the orchestra and some solo music. Um, I guess if the, to me it feels, um, it's just my personal opinion, but I feel that it makes me feel even more distant with the things that I see. Do you remember what you were playing or listening to during the pandemic? Yes. I, it's, so that was the time I was um, about, uh, supposed to record the Mozart album and also I had some Mozart concerto that I had to prepare and um, also Shostakovich um, concerto and some other repertoire. I wasn't sure if we had to wait until the next year or the, the end of the year, um, but I was very happy that it was possible to record in Germany in the uh, middle of August. How long did it take? Do you usually do it in one day or is it over a period of days? So normally, depending on the amount of re repertoire, you have sometimes three days, three or four days. But I was recording um, two CDs, um, I think almost 130 minutes or so. So to do all that repertoire within that time, it was, I was thinking maybe it was a little tight, but I had a good producer uh, working with me, a uh, good Tom Meister. Within five days, we could finish everything all together. When not practicing, what were you doing? Oh, I do some yeah, mobile games time to time, but I, recently I haven't been really doing much. During the pandemic, I, of course, I, like everyone else, I was doing more home cooking also, and I, I, I think I make pretty good pasta. Some musicians would never go near cooking because they're very careful about their hands. Yes, um, I, yeah, I'm quite clumsy with my hands, I think. Uh, but I, I also try to be careful. But I, I, you know, cooking is also in a way fun, and I enjoy time to time. Um, but I already have really dry hands since I was I think six seven years old I knew that I had dry hands because in kindergarten I always got complaints from other friends that oh why do you have such dry hands and then so I was a little self-conscious actually about it but I think it's good in a way that I don't really sweat too much on my hands and somewhat dry hands so that I don't you know sleep uh, on the keyboard. But the thing is I have to put some hand creams before uh, walking out on stage. You're known for your engagement with the fans. We often find you on TV and YouTube. Do you enjoy that kind of close relationship with your fans? Yes and no. It depends. It's, it's lots of fun to do. But sometimes I feel I don't want to do. I love the 
uh, interaction with the audience members, classical fans, that makes me feel even more responsibility as a, as a musician, as a pianist, to be really faithful with the music and faithful to the passion I have for the music. If you were to recommend me something to listen to, what would you recommend right now? Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> Which Mozart? Oh, Mozart Rondo in A minor. Um, that's in the album. Um, but aside from my recording, <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know, Brahms Intermezzo, uh, Opus 118, number two. The comments uh, I got from my former teacher, Curtis um, Seymour Lipkin, uh, I, I still cherish that so much, which was try to think about the ideal music in your head and, and try to have limitless imagination and when you're at the piano try to match that imagination with your sound so when I have interviews sometimes I say the ideal performance would be in my head in my imagination but it's not never is possible to get even closer to that ideal music in my head. <laughs>